Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a fall landscape. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our fall landscape, let's begin by drawing a nice fall tree over here. So I'm going to begin right here towards the bottom of my paper, and I'm just going to make a little line that's going to come up like this. It's okay if you make these kind of bumpy and jagged, because it's a tree, so trees are going to have some of those different lines. Next I'm going to make a line that comes up at an angle. And then I'm going to draw a little V shape right here. Next I'm going to bring this line down and then over to here. Now starting down here I'm going to bring this line up. And then I'm going to bring this line down. I'm going to bring this line up here, and then I'm going to bring this back down and in. Now starting up here, I'm going to bring this line down to about here, and then I'm going to make some roots down here. I want to make a couple little lines that just go down and then kind of come back. I'm going to make another little line, it's just going to go down and then up and down. And then I'll make another little line, it's going to go down and then over to here. And then right here I'm going to add a couple little extra lines. Now I want to make another branch out here. So I'm just going to draw a line, it's going to come out and up. Another one's going to go up and then into here. I'm going to make a little line that goes out, and then it's going to come back in with another one, and then one more kind of that comes out this way. And then right here I'll make a, two little lines to just kind of go up for some extra branches. Now right across the top of each of these, I'm just going to make these kind of like wiggly, bumpy lines, just to kind of show where the leaves would be. So I'm just going to make these right across the top of each one. And then right here, I'm going to make a little kind of bumpy, zigzag, kind of bumpy line that goes around here. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to do these in a few little random spots just to kind of show where there's going to be some different parts of the tree. You might see a little bit of light and stuff coming through there. So I'm just going to bring these up. I'm going to put a few more little spots in some of these little areas here. And maybe like one or two more right there. Now I want to add some detail onto the tree. I'm going to make some of these long kind of broken lines. They're just going to come right up the tree. I don't want them all connecting, so that's why I kind of like to leave some space in between some of them. And I'm just going to put some of these coming around here as well. And a few more up some of these little lines here. Now, I kind of want to start on the landscape next. So I'm going to begin right here. I'm going to make a little line that goes right to the tree. And I'm going to bring this kind of down here. I'm going to start back here and I'm going to draw another line. And I'm going to bring this line kind of down. And you can see it's kind of wavy and bumpy. And then over here I'm going to make another little kind of wavy line. And then starting here I'll do one more. It's just going to go up a little bit. Now I want to put some small trees in the distance back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by making the tree trunk. So I'm just going to bring some little lines that are just going to come up like this. I want to make some little Y shapes that just kind of go out just like this. And then I'm going to make some just kind of 
bumpy, wiggly oval shape around here. I'll do another one here. I'll make two lines that come up. Line that goes down and up, and then one more that goes down and up. I'll put another kind of wiggly circular shape around here. I'll do one like this. Go down and up here. Down and up. And we'll just kind of bring this down. And I'll do the same thing, just kind of more of these wiggly shapes around here. Now I want to put like another random tree over here. So I'm just going to make two lines that come up. Down and up. And then down and up. And we'll make another one of those little shapes right around here. And then I'll put at least one more tree over here. So we'll do another tree trunk. And we'll do a couple more little circular shapes around there. Next in the back, I just want to kind of make some more like hills almost. So I'm just going to start right here and we're going to come right to here. We're going to go up and I'll kind of end there. And then I'll make another one that just kind of goes off in the distance here. And finally, I'll make one more just kind of goes up and down. Now, right around here, I'm going to add a few little points just to kind of make it look like there's some taller grass that's kind of up close to us. And then I'm going to put a few little kind of rock shapes, just kind of these oval shapes right around here. And then right along here, I'm going to add a small little fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some little rectangle shapes. And then as I get a little bit farther away, I'm going to start making these get smaller and smaller. And then I'll kind of stop them right about here. I'm going to make just a couple little rectangle lines, two little lines that come off each one. So I'm just going to kind of connect these with some rectangles. And then some of these, I'm just going to draw a line down, and then I'll make two little lines up here. Now, some of these, we're only going to be able to see at least like one little line in here, because they're going to get very far away. And eventually, we're just going to draw the lines ourselves. Then I'll make a little line that comes down here. And then right over here, I'm just going to bring a couple little lines that come down, just to kind of show there's some a little bit flowing of some hills. And then there you go. Now eventually, I'm also, when I color this, I'm going to be adding some little leaves that kind of fall down. So you can always draw these leaves in here. You can just make like some little, small, kind of curvy shaped lines, just to make it look like there's some leaves kind of flying, floating in the distance, kind of blown in the wind. And you don't even have to draw these if you don't want to. You could always just kind of color them in with your marker or whatever it is that you're coloring with. You can always add some leaves down here. So there's lots of things you can do. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.